Hey Aquarius, welcome to the channel. Thank you guys for stopping and watching. This is your November career in finance reading. So Aquarius, I want to start out um, with the devil, okay? Um, I pulled your cards ahead of time just to save one time so that I can enjoy uh, the rest of the Sunday if that's okay with you guys, okay? But I do want to focus on the devil card because whenever a major uh, arcana card shows up in your reading, it kind of pinpoints like, you know, the significant areas in your life. The major arcanas are the most influential, the most powerful, and it does kind of focus on the lessons that we need to learn in life or the areas where we need to grow. Okay, so we're gonna start um, on the devil. So um, the devil is a card of Capricorn. And when I think of Capricorn, for me personally, they usually uh, remind me kind of like Virgo, you know, hard workers, right? You know, just go ahead and, and getting stuff done. And the devil has that energy of, you know, feeling like, you know, you have no options, okay? or that you're stuck somewhere, Aquarius. And I wanna say, and get this out right now, you know, stop playing, okay? I really need you guys, you know, to, to stop playing because the devil tells me that for some of you, you have some really unhealthy uh, vices uh, going on right now. So before you get mad at me, just hear me out, okay? Aquarius, you have a lot on your mind. There's a lot that you want to do. There's a lot that you want to accomplish. You have tons of ideas. But the question is, is like, when you're going to make it happen, right? First of all, if I may add, if you have like multiple things that you want to start, all right, if you're looking into being an entrepreneur, pick one thing first, okay, and work on that, you know, Make that happen. Like, see it from the beginning to the end before you move on to something else. I just want to throw that out there real quick, okay? Um, and that's not for everybody. But the devil is you know, bothering me because I feel that for those of you who want to get something started, you may not know exactly what it is. And you may feel with this Capricorn energy here that you're stuck. And maybe you don't have any options, okay? But that is not the case. All right, so although you may feel like you can't get something moving or you may not know exactly what it is that you want to do, you are not stuck, tired maybe, okay? Because the devil can be a restless, you know, type of little energy, you know, maybe just like, oh, fuck this, you know? But I'm telling you that you do have options. You are not stuck and there is nothing holding you back from um getting what you want other than the temptation you know to give up okay so don't give up the devil is here to remind you aquarius to stay focused on what it is that you freaking want like don't give up on your dreams okay so you got blessings coming in here y'all see it right you have this blessing card you have this new money card and it says here something new you've been working on will be very profitable you should consider creating a new source of income if you have a money making idea freaking do it Aquarius this is what I'm saying and then your very next card says say yes to the things you think you can't do Aquarius there's nothing that you can't do and I'm not just saying that to say some positive shit you know to put out here on this channel I'm telling you your imagination and your strength and I mean look you got the king of swords here and the king of swords is no joke you know when you got your mind set on something when you're serious about something because the, the king of swords and the queen dinosaurs they don't play like they're not playing around you know they're serious about what it is that what they want to do and they're smart and you don't need anyone else necessarily to help you and i'm not saying you don't need help from others but as far as getting down to the nitty-gritty you know what to do okay you are very independent and very energetic okay figure it out the king of swords is very clever all right very very clever so the page of swords, you know, is, is kind of chilling with this king of swords. So a lot of you, I can see that you'll be in the beginning stages of um, 
making something happen. For some of you, you're bringing something back from the past, okay? But for others, it's a new idea, okay? You've created something new or there's something on your mind, okay? Because we got all this communication and it's logic. You know, we got two swords here, all right? So that tells me that there is something that some of you, you know, are in the beginning stages of creating, okay? And you're ambitious about it, all right? But you may have some delays because this devil is here, right? So that tells me that somewhere along the line, whether it's you're running into obstacles, whether it's time or it's money or just simply not believing that you can do it. But it says here that you have new money, okay? That there is something here that you could be working on that is going to work for you. And the universe is asking you to say, yes, I can do this, not say no. When I say that the, the universe is backing you up, it really is because we have this blessing card here. We have the Buddha card here. We have this spirituality card here, 1111 and these zeros. This the universe is written all over this reading. Now, this may not be for everybody, but let's just keep in mind, we are in the age of Aquarius. So Aquarius, the universe is, is really counting on you to kind of wake people up, okay? To kind of be that voice, you know, be that leader and get out there and let your presence be known, okay? Uh, some of you, you could be seeking careers or businesses in some type of spiritual work. And, and that's so potent here in your reading with the spirituality blessings buddha and again it's these 11s and these zeros this is all universe this is all spirit here guiding you uh in your reading it says you are being guided to discover your own unique spiritual path at this time you may be called uh, to become a spiritual advisor, healer, or anything in the occult. Your finances could use some spell work. Ask your angels and guides for assistance. Hell yes. You know, if you gotta, I'm not telling you to beg, okay? You don't have to beg nobody for anything, and that includes the universe too, okay? You don't have to beg. Of course, just ask because you're already tapped in. And I do feel that your spiritual you know, team or your spiritual family really does want you to kind of communicate with them, okay? They want to help you with this page of swords. They want to help, you know, they, they, they're they spying on you already, right? And they're whispering to you in your ear, right? Hey, Aquarius, Aquarius, do this. Do what you feel, right? Do what you are being called to do because it says it here with this spirituality card. It literally says here like you are being called or you may be called. And then 1111 is that number, right? It's that number saying like, you know, follow me, Aquarius. 11 speak of following your inner voice, okay? Because you're being called to do something, okay? It's like if you got those little that that urge or that feeling in your stomach like this is what I should be doing then yes that that is you know what you'd be doing for some of you you are very intuitive to the point to where you even maybe creep people out okay so some of you could be psychic you could be clairaudient clairvoyant use those gifts okay to make sure that you are you know profiting you know and building yourself up and I'm not just mean money I mean just just as far as like your inner being like build yourself up 11s are energies of deep thinkers, right? Light workers, you know, living outside the normal boundaries that most people, you know, live in. You know, when you are uh, seeing this, this number 11, it also speaks, again, just like the spirituality said, you know, it speaks of a spiritual teacher, a healer, a leader, you know, you're, you know, always like seeking the truth. And, and if you have the truth, you know the truth, share the truth, okay? 11s are very spiritual number, very mystical, you know, connected closely to like the metaphysical world, okay? So it's almost like use your gifts, use your inner calling and allow the world to to see it okay 11s are a straightforward energy if you got the gift you got it use it make it work for you so that you can help others Aquarius number zero says I am a creator and what does it say here it says you are one with the creator and there are no limits to what you can achieve you have the ability to create something new, incredible in your lifetime here on earth Aquarius if you are being nudged 
to do something that it, no matter whether it's spiritual or not, don't really care. Because if it's not spiritual work in itself, the universe is still guiding you to do whatever it is that's on your mind right now at this time. If you are watching this video and you're saying, if I could, I would do this. Aquarius, please do it, okay? Because it is time, okay? Say yes to what you think it is that you can do. Go make this money. Go get these blessings from the divine, okay? Zero speak of wholeness, infinite potential, endless possibilities, okay? Don't take nothing personal at this time, okay? When zero shows up, it is the universe whispering to you, you got this. Aquarius, it's all or nothing now, okay? So I don't expect, you know, for you to, you know, have things up and going overnight, but I know you've been in a place where you haven't been happy, okay? You're you're just kind of like, God, is this, this is, is this, is this all I got? You know, some of you are really unfulfilled right now, but the universe is saying, hey, you want this new money? Say yes. And once you say yes, Get this devil energy out of your mind. And instead of feeling stuck and powerless in your situation right now, use the energy of the devil to just focus on what it is that you want to do. Buddha says life purpose more than money, spiritual wealth, counselor, being guided, divine path. Like you guys didn't see me shuffle these cards, but I, I wouldn't lie to you. Okay. This is what came out for you. And when I seen this, I was like, God damn, you know, like if this message isn't clear, I don't, I don't, I don't really know what to say. And it kind of made me regret, you know, not shuffling these cards in front of you. So you could just see how the magic just flew out on this table. Okay. So I am very excited, you know, for you, Aquarius, the universe has tons of blessings and they're asking you, you know, to, to your life purpose. You have your spiritual teachers. You have your masters here. I don't give a hell whether it's Buddha, Muhammad, Jesus. I, I don't really care, okay? But they're all here supporting you, okay? Archangel Michael Aquarius is usually uh, associated with you guys a lot, a lot, okay? Michael and Ariel. So I do feel like all of your angels, all of your guys, all of your masters are telling you, you know, to do what it is that you feel you should be doing, okay? Follow that inner voice okay listen to those discerning messages okay because that is where you know your money lies that is where your happiness lies and that's doing what it is that you want to do one speak of taking charge focusing on what it is that you need to do ones are asking you to follow your heart okay you know be straightforward and be honest with yourself all right and don't don't think too much because i even though your thinking is a is a gift for you, your logic is a gift, it can also, you know, be, you know, your downfall, okay, Aquarius? So don't get too wrapped up in your thoughts. This is an energy to just jump out there and fucking try it, all right? Particularly if you're into um, uh, wanting to start something new. Uh, we got these tarot cards here on the table. So some of you, you know, could be tarot card readers. And um, it just says that you're being called to become a... a a spiritual advisor or a healer or anything in the call and I do feel that here for some of you heavily and not everybody's into that but if you are there is an energy here for you to just keep pushing if you're already doing it maybe you don't have a lot of subscribers you know maybe you're you're in the beginning stages of this just believe that you can do it okay because whatever little messages that you're putting out there it's waking somebody up okay and it's helping you to grow and to learn and to become um, the person that you were divinely guided to be, all right? So stay on your path, stay on your journey, all right? Your life purpose is here for you. There's spiritual wealth, okay, and money here for you guys, and no matter what you're doing right now. So November is the time, and so is December, January, February, and so on. But for those of you who are really like in, the, in that mind, in this king 
of Sora's energy, focus right now, like really trying to be logical and listen. This listen, the lemons are asking you to listen to your inner voice, okay? Pick up on those small vibrations, okay? Put them into the bigger picture. And I, I promise you, you know, you're going to be able to discern what it is that the universe is asking you to do. And honestly, you already know. So Aquarius, this is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading and I will see you guys in the next video.